Hello, good day viewers. Uh, welcome to another mathematics presentation. In this presentation, we are still answering mathematics paper 2 for 2025 for GCE candidates. So we are now answering our question uh, 1B. So our question B reads, for the geometric progression, 60, 30, 15, find the, so 1, 6, term, 2, geometric mean of 15 and D, 3.75 3 sum to infinity so this was question 1b so we need to find the sixth term we are given this geometric what progression so how do we find the sixth term so to find the sixth term we should take note of what we have which is the geometric progression we have 60 30 uh, 15 so first thing we need to find the the common ratio so the common ratio is found by subtracting you can get them two divided by term one so in this case our term two this is our term one this is our term two so 30 divided by 60 and this will be 30 a 1 30 into 62 so the common ratio will be 1 over 2 so after we have found our common ratio then we can find our question one which says we should find the sixth term. So sixth term is equal to, so A times the common ratio, which is raised to the power of N minus 1. So here, A stands for the first term. So when you look at this geometric progression, the first term is 60. Then R is the common ratio, which is this one. So we are just going to say sixth term is equal to, where there is A, we will put a 60 in brackets. Then where there is R, we are going to put 1 over 2, which is the common ratio I found. This n is the position of the term. In this case, they have told us that sixth term. So the position of the term is a 6. So where there is n, we are going to put a what? A 6. Okay? I hope it's clear. So now, where there is n, I've said you put a 6 minus a 1. So from here, you write a uh, 60 in brackets which is being multiplied with a common ratio 1 over 2. So 6 minus 1, we are going to have a power 5. So just uh, just get your calculator there and you punch. So on your calculator, you are just going to punch 60, okay, which is being multiplied by, you can put uh, this one, 1 over 2 in brackets. So you can have 1 over 2, Okay. which will be raised to the power of 5. So this will be raised to the power of 5. So this is what we are going to get, 1.875. Okay. So this one, we can also leave it as a, as a fraction. So we can write uh, 15 over 8, or you can leave it as 1.875. Okay, n of these, or you can also leave it as a mixed number, which will be 1 or number 7 over 8. So this was the, the needed answer. So we have answered our question 1. So the sixth term was the 15 over 8, or you can say 1.875, or 1 or number 7 over 8. So let us now move on to our question 2. Alright, so now we have come to question 2 right here. So we need to find the geometric mean of 15 and 3.75. So for this one, there is a straight way you can just answer it, where you can just say uh, geometric mean is equal to the square root of 15 times 3.75. So geometric mean is equal to, so here there is just need for you to, the square root of you get the square root of 15 times 3.75. So we will get this value right here, which is 7.5. So here you can write 7.5. So this is your geometric what mean. Now, if maybe you have forgotten this one, you don't understand. You get what they have given you, 15 and uh, 3.75 so to find the geometric mean here you can write 15 comma 
you can put a there then 3.75 so this a is representing the geometric mean between 15 and 3.75 so this is them one uh, this is them two this is them three so here to find a which is presenting the geometric mean we can use the common ratio formula where we say term two divided by term one is equal to term three divided by term two okay so once you do this where there is a term two we know that it's a, a there our term one is a 15 so a divided by 15 our term three there as you can see it's 3.75 uh, our term two it's a now we want to find the value of a which is the geometric mean so we are going to cross what t multiply okay so a times a this will be a squared equal to 15 times 3.75 Okay, 15 times 3.75 to give us see, right to give us this value, which is 56.25. Now I want to find the value of a, so we can introduce the square root. So this uh, square, uh, this square squared, and the square root to cancel. A is equal to. So we just need to find the square root of 56.25. Okay. So, the square root of this number will be a positive 7, 7.5, or negative 7.5. So, they can mark you this answer as well. Okay. So, if you want, if you want, you can also uh, leave it as a decimal number, the same value. So, this is the geometric mean. They can mark this value or they can mark this one. So, you can either use this one or this one. Okay, so this is how they do it to find the geometric mean, which translates to this. All right, so now we have come to question three, where we need to find the sum to infinity. The formula is sum to infinity is equal to a over one minus r. So a is the first term. Remember, this is our sequence. So the first term for a is a schisty. Then the common ratio we found that it's one over two. So we just need to substitute where we say sum to infinity is equal to, where there is a, we put a 60 divided by 1 minus the common ratio there is a half. So now from here, we are going to have sum to infinity is equal to 60 over, so 1 minus half. Okay, so you can solve it somewhere, 1 minus half. This will give us what? So common denominator is a 2 here, we divide by 1. We say 1 into 2 is 2, 2 times this 1 is a 2, minus 2 into 2 is 1, 1 times 1 is 1. So 2 minus 1 give us 1 over 2. So 1 minus half gives us half. Okay. Then after having this, what you can do is, you say sum to infinity is equal to. So you can write this as kisti divided by 1 over 2. That's what it means. Okay which can also be later written as kisti over 1 times 2 over 1. We have just changed from division to multiplication. So the 1 becomes the denominator, the 2 becomes the numerator there. So here you can do this now. Uh, kisti times 2, this gives us 120. So this was the sum to, to infinity. So we have answered our question 1, B. So thank you so much, guys.